Hello, writers. Here's our second part of the Writer's Toolshed, where we go into our sentences or templates that help us mold our words after a very specific structure so that we can give more maturity and more beauty to our sentences. Uh, template number two, on silent wings. On silent wings, the powerful bird swooped down upon the bats. This is by Janelle Cannon from the book Stella Luna. And you can see the, the phrase that we're um, zooming into here is this first phrase, on silent wings, comma. Um, and this phrase is a prepositional phrase. You don't really have to know that so much, but it's a phrase that's talking about one specific characteristic of the bird in this sentence. So the purpose of a sentence like this is we have this phrase at the beginning to highlight a specific part of the character's appearance, abilities, or personality. Because this bird, this bird is powerful. We see that they're powerful in the rest of the sentence. But the first thing that the author wants us to know about it is how silent the bird is on silent wings. That's the first thing we get introduced to. If you compare, what happens if we put the silent wings later on in the sentence? The powerful bird swooped down on silent wings upon the bats. And two things make this second version less effective. First of all, the first um, adjective we come across is powerful. So that changes the way we perceive the bird very much. We first see it being powerful. In the original, we first see it being silent. And so that's the choice of how the author wants to show us what this bird is like. Another reason why it's um, not quite as good is because on silent wings is a little bit less clear in the middle of the sentence here. At the beginning, on silent wings, the powerful bird, we know that these silent wings belong to the bird. But when you get the powerful bird swooped down on silent wings, are they swooping on the wings? Like, are, are the wings down below and the bird is swooping on other birds' wings? Uh, and so you get confused. So um, let's look at some example imitations. If we were try to, to try to imitate this sentence, um, we can use our own phrases that can go in this beginning prepositional phrase. With eager eyes, the child opened its hands to grasp the ice cream cone. With blazing cannons, the pirate ship crested the wave and joined the battle. So again, it's choosing something that will be the first thing to come across to characterize the child or the pirate ship. Uh, your homework this week is you're going to do sentence imitations. Write five sentence imitations of our week two template on silent wings. In each one, use one of the words below, and these words came from our writer's tools in the previous video. The word does not have to be in the on silent wings phrase. It can be in the other part of the sentence. Here's what I mean. Um, if the example word is grasp, then we're going to imitate with eager eyes the child opened its hands to grasp the ice cream cone. So our word can be here in this half or it can be in the beginning prepositional phrase. With blazing cannons, the pirate ship crested the wave and joined the battle. Give it a try for yourself. Have fun characterizing the nouns, the subjects of the sentence that you're trying to write about.